Oh my god, look at the time! <laughs> the hours are just going by so quickly. Ah, if I can turn this properly. <laughs> you get the idea. So hey, it's Joel here, and in today's video, I'm answering that question, or giving you some solutions to why why is it that we feel like time is speeding up as we get older? How can we fix that? How can we have more time? How do we feel like we can have more time? Because it, it, it's irritating. <laughs> um, we don't want to feel like life is in fast forward. And it really hit me recently, I think it was leading up to Christmas, so I was, I was talking to a sales assistant and they said, Ah, oh, where did the year go? And I said, yeah, no, I, I don't know, you know, there's still so much I have to get done. I'm like, this is crazy. And one thing that really hit me was, they said, as soon as I finished my studies and I started working, time has just sped up. I don't know what happened, you know, I don't know what happened, what's going on? And that really hit me. I'm like, why, why is that the case? So I'm like, I have to, I have to, I have to solve this. Like, I'm, I'm sick of feeling like, time is increasing because I don't I don't want to be 90 next year but <laughs> so I've been having a bit of a look online apparently a psychologist in 1890 published uh, the guy's name was William William James and he did some studies and, and published this observation that as we're getting older we're we're having less and less first experiences so, you know, we've gone through the, going through school for the first time, dating for the first time, our first kiss, and all that stuff. Um, so if it's the case that, you know, we're finishing our studies and we're, we're starting work and we're, we're, we're in this uh, routine, uh, we're, not, we're not finding we're doing new things as often, that's where it starts. So obviously what's happening is as we're going about our daily life, finding that nothing's new, nothing's interesting, our brain's going, well, this isn't fun. I don't want to commit to any, I don't want any of this to be committed to my long-term memory. So I'm not, I'm just going to skip over it, you know, whatever. So we need to change that. So obviously what we need to do is have more first experiences. How do we do that? Well, look, one thing, one obvious thing I think is a really good idea is, is to put together your bucket list, put some goals together, work out what haven't you done, you know, what haven't you done yet, because I'm sure there's some things that we're yet to do, right, you know. <laughs> look at that, look at that in detail and whack it on your calendar. If you don't think it's achievable yet, then push it out a few years, that's fine, whatever, um, but at least set the goal. And, and set multiple and you don't just have to set the big goals maybe set some smaller goals as well you know so that you can kind of look forward to lots of little new experiences coming up and they don't have to be crazy they don't have to be wild but they just have to be new find something new so so this whole newness thing I think it taps into something a little bit deeper and that is I think appreciating more of every day and that is there are new things around us all the time I mean each day that we have we wake up it is a brand new day whether it seems like the same as yesterday it is in fact a new day and you'll never get that day back so here's what we need to do we need to start looking around more appreciating where we are and um, if we have to stop and smell the roses do it <laughs> so start thinking start planning more new experiences but at the same time make the most of every day that you've got because we don't know when our last day is so that my friend I believe is the ultimate solution to slowing down the clock so I want I want to, I want you to think about this for a moment and I want you to leave a comment and let me know what you're going to do differently to make today matter and tomorrow matter, what you can appreciate more, what you can consider new. So I'm going to leave it at that. Over to you.